Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's almost the weekend. Can you believe that a week from tomorrow is Halloween? Unbelievable, I don't know how we got here, but crazy. I feel like, oh, I don't know, I usually love October doing all kinds of Halloween things and we've done nothing this year. Another fun COVID, you know, what do you say? I don't know, it's frustrating. Anyways, but we can still celebrate on Facebook Friday, right? So that's what we're gonna do today. Normally, I pick one product, like a stamp set or a bundle, and design around that. And this week, I just went rogue and went crazy and used all kinds of different stamp sets. So we're gonna do three pumpkin slash Halloween projects this week. And then next week, we're moving on to Christmas, finally. I know some of you are waiting. I'm not ready for, for Christmas, but... We must, we must get started on our Christmas crafting, right? Hello, everybody, good, I'm so glad to see you guys. Okay, let me see if I've got my device over here set up. All right, so I have a, so much to tell you guys, well, really so much to show you. You might have seen yesterday I announced my retreat to go and my classes to go for November. I wanna go through those because it's a lot of information and I have to laugh, Susan says, Hi from Chile, West Texas. Susan, that cool weather is coming my way. I can't wait. I'm looking outside. No wind is picked up yet, but that cold that cold weather should be here soon. Well, cooler weather. <laughs> okay, you guys. Um, if you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday, welcome. I'm going to run through a bunch of stuff, and then we're going to make three projects, okay? You can hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com, and you'll find a PDF of today's projects. It looks like this and has all three of it, all three of the projects on there, the products and the measurements is what I'm trying to say. On the second page is everything that I'm getting ready to show you, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch you guys over. And guess what? I told you guys I have purchased this fancy software, right, to, to switch over, you know, from one camera to the other. And it is gonna be the death of me. I... <laughs> cannot get it to work right. My problem right now is that it has major echo feedback on it. And um, that's a no go. Like you guys, it's bad. You know, like when you hear somebody with a microphone and it does that screeching feedback? Well, that's what it's doing. One of these days, I'll get it set up. I was working on it today and my daughter came down from upstairs and doing school in her room, which is right above my um, office. And she was like, what is that terrible noise? I thought, okay, well, I'll work on it another day, I guess. But eventually I'll be fancy and I'll have that fancy switching software. Okay, so I'm gonna start by telling you guys about my retreat to go. I normally every year do a local one day Christmas retreat. Um, that's not happening this year. Um, so I have, I always do a to-go version too, but I have limited number of boxes because that's a lot of work to do um, all the local and then lots of to-go. So this year they're all to-go. So I have more available this year than normal. Um, the, the retreat to-go box will include lots of stuff. It's gonna have six make and takes. You're gonna have $40 in new product, which includes uh, consumable, so paper, ribbon, that kind of thing. Um, you're gonna have what we call pillow gifts, which are little treats, um, and you're gonna have a special bag, a pink buckaroo bag, um, to hold it all in. So all of that is $95, and that includes priority shipping in one of the big flat rate medium boxes. Um, it doesn't include the stamps and dies that you'll need. I'm sure you guys have seen this suite of products in the catalog. It's the very first thing that you see in the holiday catalog. No, it's not, I lied. Yeah, well, you go past the kits and then you see the heartwarming hugs. So this is what I use to design my all my retreat projects. Um, and it's so fun, but you're gonna need this stamp set and this stamp set. I used them both, I couldn't, I couldn't stick with one, so I used both. You're also gonna want the dies as well because they, these cut out the little wraps for the coffee cups that we'll be making um, with our retreat uh, box. So those are not included 
in the retreat box price. I know lots of you who buy my things, your demonstrators yourself, so you've already bought those, and that's totally fine. Um, you can add it on to your box if you want. Um, you can use other stamps, of course. You can always sub stamps if you don't want these. But this is the one thing that I am worried about you not having because I do use these on pretty much every project. And to make those wraps without the dies would be tricky. So you're gonna want at least the dies, but I think you probably are gonna want the stamps too because they're awesome. So retreat projects, I've got four cards. Um, we're gonna do a, a double coffee cup, cup carrier. You're gonna get the cups and the um, carrier. And this is like my favorite, I, a little test tube hot chocolate holder box. Um, you are gonna get those little test tubes in your retreat to go box too. So the retreat to go, to tell you guys the truth, is the hardest thing I do all year. It is a ton of physical labor. <laughs> it's a lot of work. I love doing it, and I know you guys love it, but it's just a ton of work, and I want you to know that um, and, and have a little grace with me. I have a pretty strict timeline to get all that done. Um, the deadline to register for the retreat to go box is November 12th, although I will tell you, I listed it yesterday and already half of them are sold. So um, if you want it, you probably need to buy it pretty soon. Um, I am going to work my hiney off <laughs> to get them all in the mail. M my, my goal, you guys, is for you to have this to work over the Christmas week. I mean, the Thanksgiving weekend. I don't know if that will happen. Um, I'm saying I will have it in the mail that Monday or Tuesday before Thanksgiving. I'm gonna try my hardest. I think I can do it. I've got some helpers who are gonna help me, um, but but that's my goal. And then of course we know the shipping uh, is crazy. I don't know. I you know I do priority mail. It's supposed to take two days. It takes a week sometimes. So who knows? But anyhow, you'll have it by the beginning of December at the very latest. Okay, so that's the retreat to go in itself. Ninety five dollars. Tons of product, tons of little gifts and treats. I've got some really fun little gifts planned for you. Remember last week I said I was going to go simple on the retreat? Yeah, I don't know how to do simple, so <laughs> there's no simplifying the retreat this year. It's the full enchilada, okay? So that's the retreat. Now, the retreat also has add-on classes. So when I do my retreat in person... Um, you, they come, they bring all their stuff, they have six projects, make and takes, they can work on their own stuff, or they can buy other classes from me to work on that day. So there are two add-on classes, and the first one is the, the Christmas treats class. Thank you, Vicki, that's sweet. Um, the, it, this is the Christmas treats class. Every year I do a treats class, and these, if you like to give out treats, this is the class for you, okay? And it features the In the Pines stamp set, and dies. I love this set. This is a great set. Um, the only problem is there's only two sentiments, and I don't like season's greetings. I want Merry Christmas. Um, now, this is great because you can use it all year, but I wanted other uh, sayings. So I used for my sentiments that um, itty bitty Christmas, which is so great, but I'm sure you guys have lots of sentiments, um, even if you don't have that stamp set. So this is an add-on class to the retreat. It's also a standalone class. So if you don't want the retreat, but you want this class, that's an option as well. Um, so the, this class has six projects, okay? You're gonna get a quarter pack of paper, a bolt of my favorite real red braided trim, and a pack of holiday rhinestones. It does, um, you can get it with or without the stamps and dies, okay? Um, when you get, when you do an add-on class to the retreat box, there is no additional shipping, okay? Because I can fit it in those flat rate boxes at no additional cost. So if you add them on to your retreat box, no additional shipping. I've had some questions about that. I think I confused you guys in the video. Um, if you buy the class by itself, there's an $8 shipping fee. Um, shipping has actually gone up and it's more than $8 now, but I'm only going to charge you $8 for shipping, Okay. Um, and that's when you go to register, you'll see it with shipping. It has that already added in there. So that's that class. You can either get it by itself or you can add it onto your retreat box. 
The next class, the second class, is for my card makers. It is a stamp a stack. You'll have two of each of these cards, so you'll actually have 12 cards. Um, and it's the cute, warm and toasty stamp set. Um, I really was having trouble nailing down a stamp set that I wanted to use for my stamp a stack, and my friend Kay Cogbill did a class with this, and she said, check that stamp set. It's so cute. And I did, and I was like, why did I overlook that? Super cute. So that's our stamp a stack. Um, this class will include uh, 12 cards. The full pack of this new paper that's coming out on uh, November 3rd, I believe. And this pack of two, two trims, a ribbon and a gold cord. So this class also, you can add it on to the retreat for no additional shipping, or you can get it by yourself, by itself. You don't want the retreat, you just want the class, okay? When you get it by itself, there is that $8 shipping fee um, to ship it. Now, here's the other option. You don't want that retreat. No, nope, that's too much for you, but you do want both of these classes. I can ship both of these together for $8, okay? So on the registration page, I believe for In the Pines, you can add on this class, okay? I've made it like super confusing, but there was no other way to do it. I couldn't have it all on one registration page. There's a registration page if you want both. There's a registration page if you want just one class. And then there's a registration page for the retreat and or the classes with the retreat. Clear as mud? <laughs> Hopefully. And there is PDF only option for all three, for the retreat. And my friend Joey, she emailed me today and said, where's the PDF option? Joey, thank you very much. I forgot to put that link to the PDF for the retreat to go. It's there now on my blog. You can find it if you just want the PDF for the retreat projects, the heartwarming hugs. There are PDF only options for these two as well, okay? Okay, um, Jill, if you already have the heartwarming hug suite, then you don't need to buy the stamps. You'll get the box and everything that you need to go in it. I, all the, the included product in that box isn't everything in the heartwarming hug suite. I've used some other things. And uh, you'll use those things that you get in your box to make some of your uh, projects. But it does not include the stamps and dies, just consumables. Okay, I hope I explained that. I knew that was going to be confusing um, this year, the way I had registration set up. Just know you can get the classes by themselves. You can get them with the retreat. You can get the retreat by itself, or you can get the two classes by themselves. I need to draw a diagram, I think, for all of us to understand. <laughs> okay, let me know if you have questions. And you guys, what's going on with my email? About six or seven of you yesterday emailed me for those registration links because you I can't I can't list those registration links online. It's against Stampin' Up policy. I can only email them. So that you guys are so good. You you email me, let me have the registration link. I email back. About six or seven of you, the emails bounced back to me saying that they that your email thought my email was spam. So if that was you, if you didn't hear back from me and you emailed me. Try again and maybe even Facebook message me because something is weird with my email. I even tried to email you from my home email address and those bounced too and I don't know what else to do. So if you didn't hear back from me and you emailed me yesterday or this morning, email me again or Facebook message me. You can Facebook message me on my business page. Um, I will see that probably faster than I would see it on my personal page. Okay. Okay. The next thing I have going in November is Club Create. And Club Create is new this year. And that's kind of why I'm sweating this <laughs> retreat thing, because I've got this as well within those three weeks before Thanksgiving. Um, and this is my biggie every month. I've got so many Club Create members. And um, this is the poinsettia petals that we did um, note that we're doing this month. We haven't done it yet. This is for November. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Be you know why? Because I've already designed December's Club Create projects, and I couldn't remember if this was December or November, but no, this is November. Club Create November is going to feature the 
one set of petals. This is not related to the retreat at all. This is a club. You have to subscribe to the club to get these projects, okay? Jessica, thank you. She says, Club Create has been so much fun and love everything you designed. Jessica, thank you very much. That's very, very sweet. Um, and Robin says, we should try to whitelist your email address. Um, yeah, you know, if you do put me as one of your favorites, um, that, that will help. But I will tell you that my friend Rhonda Wade, I'm in on her mailing list and I have her start as VIP and her stuff still goes to my spam folder. So sometimes it doesn't even work. I don't know. It's very frustrating. I am not, I'm pretty good with technology, but I'm not that good to be able to figure that out. All right, Club Create for November will feature the poinsettia petals. It does not include the bundle. You will get four cards and a box, a PDF and a video, and $20 in product. You can add on the bundle if you want. And that email hasn't gone out. If you're a Club Create member, it's, co it's coming next week, okay? You guys are so sweet. Um, Donna, thank you very much. That's very, very sweet. Um, let's see. Susan, I just showed up on your Facebook thread. I kept referring. Oh, I wasn't showing up. <laughs> I know Facebook, who knows, right? Okay. So club create that, if that link, there's, um, there is a link for club create at the very top of my blog. You'll see it. Club Create, you can click it. And on there, there is all the details about Club Create. It also will give you the link to subscribe. And you guys, even if you want to subscribe for one month and then cancel, you totally can. Um, the reason it's a subscription is because if you stay for six months, I reward you with $25 in product. Um, but you can always just join for one month and quit. That's totally fine. I told, I did, I just did that for the Bark Box <laughs> for my mom's dog. Uh, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I subscribed for one month and I canceled. So you can do that too. Um, but that, there is that link here, but you can also just click at the top of my blog on Club Create. And there's a PDF only version always for Club Create as well. And it does include the video too. Okay. Okay. So I think I went through it all. Retreat, two classes, Club Create. Whew. I'm sure y'all have a thousand questions. I probably didn't do a very good job explaining all that. Okay. How about Paper Pumpkin, you guys? I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve paper pumpkin kits sitting over on my counter. Who needs one? Uh huh. I know some of you need. I've already sent out two. Look how cute the stamp set is. I love that. This is a great stamp set. Um, so this month's um, paper pumpkin is cards. It includes a just jade ink spot. And when you open it up, let's see what's in here. I don't know how many cards. Is it nine cards? Ooh, they're so pretty. I haven't made mine yet. I love those envelopes. Um, if you need this, this is a global kit this month, I believe. Isn't that correct, you guys? Um, so I believe that maybe it has other languages, the die cuts in here, or maybe that's just in the other countries. But anyway, it's really neat because it's, it's a global kit this month. Um, I have them to sell. I'm allowed to sell these outright and they are $25 shipped. All right. If you need one, please message me and let me know. I would love to send them to you. Um, it comes just like this. You'll get everything you want. Next month, I don't know if you guys have seen the video. Next month's paper pumpkin is a gingerbread theme. I am so excited about that one. It's going to be so cute. Hey, Denise. Good to see you. Denise is my downline slash friend slash assistant slash savior she helps me with all the things all the things oh all the languages are included good denise okay cool so there's die cuts in there and you've got several languages very cool okay i've cleared off all the baskets are gone i've got one more thing to tell you and that's prizes last week's winners are jane keller and patty kennedy vaught I don't know if I have either of your mailing addresses, ladies, so please message me. Thank you for sharing my video on Facebook. I do re really appreciate that, and I would like to send you this as a thank you gift, okay? Um, and this week, ooh, I've got good prizes this week. Have a hoot. The bundle, dies, and stamps. Who would like this? It's free. I will give it away to two people who share the video on Facebook. All right. Now, if you shared, please clickety clack, as Hoda Copy says, clickety clack, and tell me that you shared in the comments. Okay. 
Okay, last but not least, today's projects. Like I said at the beginning, I went, I went rogue. <laughs> Usually I'm very methodical. I pick one product. You're going to, you know, it's the same stamp set on all three projects, but this time I went wild and crazy and pulled out all of my fall and Halloween stamp sets and just had fun because this is it. Starting next week, we're moving on to Christmas. So if you like today's projects, um, they are free. I will send the make and takes to you for free. Um, with a minimum $35 order, let's see, are we in Are we in the frame? Nope, I need to move over. With a minimum $35 order by Monday at midnight using this host code. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code. You'll get host rewards, or they're called Stampin' Rewards now, which aka free stuff, um, and I will still send you the make and takes. This is what they look like. I um, package them. I cut and package them on Tuesdays and ship them on Wednesdays. Um, so super cute. You get a little thank you tag. You have to have the stamps. Okay. This week, um, you'll just need stamps. I think, yep. You'll just need stamps. I'll die cut everything for you and include the embellishments and the ribbon and whatever else that you need, but you'll need the stamps. Okay. Okay. Let's get started. I've got such cute projects. So cute. I'm really trying to work ahead because I know November is going to be crazy. And I've got the next two weeks of Facebook Fridays planned. Um, we are going to do Christmas starting next week. And then the week after, we're going to do um, the new, there's this new suite of products coming out. It's um, a special order for November and December called Curvy Celebrations. So I will show you, I will feature that all on November, what is that, the 7th? I thought about doing it next week, but you wouldn't be able to order it until the following week. So I'm going to do it on the 7th, okay? Okay, so let's get started. This is so cute. This is for your my non-Halloween people, all right? This is non-Halloween-ish. It's very sophisticated. It would be a good teacher treat, I think. And inside, of course, are my friend, Little Debbie. Pumpkin Delights. You know, you guys are always tagging me in Little Debbie stuff. I never really eat the, the Little Debbie snacks, but I do like buying them and giving them out because $2.19, eight cookies. That is very cheap, right? That's a great eight gifts for $2.19. Yes. All right. So you can get these anywhere. I got them either at Walmart or Target or HEB. They're everywhere. But there's a little Debbie snack finder, and I did remember to link it today. You can go click on it. You enter your zip code, and it'll tell you what store they're in, okay? My kids like these, too. They're so cute. Look, that one's cute. Sometimes you get them, and they're all like, they look weird. But this, this one's, like, perfect. Okay, so we're going to make this little pouch, and let me show you how it opens up. This is a belly band that slides off, and then it's kind of like a little box in there, and these kind of curve over. See how they're curved over it's not a flat box all right and then this just slides on come on there we go all right okay let's get started now the measurements are on that pdf that i showed you so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna shout out all the measurements to you because you'll lose it wherever you write it down i know i i lose it so that's why i put them on a pdf for you that pdf is free you don't have to pay for it. It's free. It's my gift to you. Um, measurements, products, everything that you need. Trisha, that looks way better than the one you got last time. Sometimes the faces are like smushed or melted, but these are like perfect. Especially here in South Texas, a lot of times you'll buy these kind of things and they've been melted and sitting in the truck waiting to go into the store because <laughs> it's so hot. Okay, you're going to need this soft suede, nine and a half by six and a half. We're going to score the long side at three and a fourth and six and a fourth. Hi, Terry, by the way, I saw you pop in. Um, score the short side at three fourths, one and a half, and then on this side, five, and five and three fourths. Terry is my downline, and we've known each other for a long time now. She is at the top of my downline list. That means she's been with me longer than anybody else, and she lived in my neighborhood, and I haven't seen her in so long, Terry. I hate it. I hate that we can't have our meetings. I miss you guys. I'm ready for this COVID nonsense to be over with. 
Now that's what I'm calling it, nonsense, COVID nonsense. It just needs to go away. We need it. We need our people back, right? Okay, I burnished those lines. Now I'm gonna cut out the four corners. One thing I was thinking today that one good thing that has come from COVID, you know, we gotta find the silver lining, is um, food delivery. <laughs> Today, my, my high schooler's home. She only goes to school every other day, and then she does school from home the other days. So she's here today, and I texted her upstairs, and I said, do you want Chick-fil-A for lunch? And I ordered Chick-fil-A, because now Chick-fil-A does their own delivery. You don't even have to order through one of the ordering apps. And it literally was here in like 20 minutes. I was impressed. And we kind of live, you know, out not terribly far out, but we're not super close either. Um, okay, now I'm gonna cut, nope, I almost did it wrong. These four long rectangles, I'm gonna cut from the bottom up. Terry, are you still working from home or are you back at work? I know that's just been so weird too. Lots of people working from home. And uh, I was, I have this new software. I told you guys I'm trying to um, figure it out. And um, I was doing some YouTubing, trying to figure out, you know, and everybody <laughs> was using it for their Zoom meetings and their online teaching. And I thought, man, six months or maybe seven, eight months ago, if I had Googled this, that wouldn't have been the case. Okay, now we're going to round the corners. I'm going to use my Detail Trio Punch. I had to look. I can never remember the name. Detail Trio Punch. Trisha, grocery delivery. I'm, I'm telling you, we've had grocery delivery here for a few years. And it is literally life-changing. I know. For a mom, a busy mom, yeah, life-changing. And if you go in the grocery store now, it's full of, like, people who are picking orders for other people. <laughs> it's awesome. You're still working from home, Terry. Wow, crazy. Okay, now we're going to round the corners of these guys right here. And so to do that, you kind of have to fold in that side. And then fold this over like that. Um, I did do some clean recordings. So if you come back to make this, check out my YouTube or on my blog. They're linked underneath each photo. Um, so you can just get right to it. You don't have to hear all the chit chat. Find out what I had for lunch. All that. <laughs> you can just watch, you know, what you need to watch. Okay, so now... Because this is rounded right here, I'm going to take my bone folder before I put this together. I'm going to take my bone folder and just kind of loosen this, kind of curl it a little bit. Um, Candace, I would find it very hard to work from home too. I would be very distracted. I would want, um, yeah, I would want to stamp and craft all day too. And Patricia, that's funny because we did have a total wine delivery. <laughs> I know, and I felt kind of guilty about doing that. But I mean, you know, I'm supporting someone's job. <laughs> Terry, I have to keep reminding myself, at least I have a job. That's very true, Terry, very, very true. All right, now these weird legs here, we're gonna fold them in like this. And so we only need to put adhesive on two of them, okay? So I'm gonna put on the inside with Stampin' Seal Plus, like this. And then I'm gonna fold them in like that. Yeah, Trisha, I'm telling you, it is, even though it has a fee, our, our little store has a fee um, for grocery delivery, I will pay it. <laughs> I will pay it, it is so nice. Thank you, Jill, I'm glad you appreciate my chit chat. Um, okay, so then you put your little cookie in there and you fold those little guys in. And then we have this folded over like that. Okay, see how that is? It looks like I need to just kind of curl this a little bit more. It's a little bit awkward to do, but it'll lay down once you get it curled. Okay, now to keep it closed, I'm gonna use a belly band. And this is our In Good Taste designer series paper, the one from the annual catalog that has um, all the different textures on it. And I'm not gonna adhere it to the box. I'm gonna just wrap it around. Actually, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna wrap it like this. This piece is too 
by 12, but I realized this morning that that's way too long. It really only needs to be about two by nine. You can maybe, maybe 10. You could save yourself a bit, quite a bit of paper if you're making a lot of them. All right, so I'm gonna fold it over so that it's kind of squeezing it, okay? And it'll slide. Now, I've got the embroidered ribbon. I have not used this ribbon too much. I like it though. I like that it's a, like a natural color. I think it goes pretty well with these neutral tones. And I'm gonna tie this around the belly band so that it'll slide off with that belly band. Um, Patricia says, I have to keep all the Instacart people employed, right? We have to do our part. <laughs> we gotta keep those people employed. I hear ya. That's so funny. I know. Um, we have, um, in Texas, we have Whataburger. I don't know if some of you from other places may not have heard of Whataburger. I'm not a big Whataburger fan, but people are crazy about Whataburger. And I saw they have their own delivery also now. So, you know, these businesses adapt and change and, you know, they're smart. They know what to do to make the most of the situation. Okay, now we're gonna cut out these pumpkins. Um, these are from the Autumn Essential dies. I love this die cut right here. And we're gonna use an adhesive sheet because this is gonna be super hard to, to glue on. And if you're like me, you'll make a giant mess with your liquid glue. So, adhesive sheets to the rescue. The adhesive sheets, if you're looking for them, they're in the adhesive section in the annual catalog. And uh, they are, like six by 12, they're pretty big. So they last a really long time. I just cut them down into little pieces when I need them. And it turns your paper into a sticker. So I put it right here. So I'm gonna use this one there and then I'm gonna do the solid one here, solid one there. I'm gonna do this on Very Vanilla. I've been using Very Vanilla quite a bit in the last couple of weeks. I don't know, it feels more fallish than Whisper White. All right, all the little doodads are gonna fall out. I think that's the last time I need my cut and emboss machine. <laughs> I shouldn't admit this to you guys, but I will. Um, when you get your cut and emboss machine, um, it you have to put the handle on. It comes with this little tool and you have to put the handle on. And I was so excited to get my cut and emboss machine several months ago that I just, did it real fast, right? And I could tell the handle was loose, but I never slowed down enough to take care of it. So last week, no, this week, see what I'm doing? I'm pulling that off and now it's a sticker and I'm just gonna adhere that right to this pumpkin. So this week when I was using it, the handle flew off and landed on my toe and it did not feel good. And then I couldn't find the stinking tool that it came with. It's just a Oh, you know, like a hex, what do they call those? Allen wrench kind of deal. And uh, I had to wait. My husband <laughs> came home and fixed it for me. Good thing that didn't happen during a Facebook Live. Could you imagine? I don't know what I would have done. So lesson is slow down, put your machine together correctly, and put that tool in a place where you'll know where it is. <laughs> Okay, so I put all that on with dimensionals. That is a um, crumb cake stitch circle. I used the second smallest, second smallest stitched circle. Ooh, tongue twister. Now the sentiment I'm using is from Harvest Hellos. I love the stamp set. We have that punch that matches. I'm using Hey There Pumpkin. And you'll, you might notice my stamp, I cut it in half. Um, because last year I made something, oh, I know, it was a birthday card, and I wanted just the pumpkin, so I cut it in half, and I stamped happy birthday with another stamp, and then I put pumpkin underneath it. And look, you can just piece your stamps back together like a little puzzle on your block, so don't ever be afraid to cut your stamps in half. Now, I could have masked it off, but I was making like 30 of them. They were for my teen birthday cards, and, uh, I just wanted to do it fast, so I cut it in half. <laughs> All right, tailored tag punch. Kate, that's a great idea. Tape the tool to the bottom of the machine. You know, you guys are so full of good ideas. It's a great idea. I would do that if I could find the darn tool. 
<laughs> oh, Karen did that too. Wow. How come I didn't know that? All right, I stamped the sentiment and soft suede on Cajun Craze. Just a little strip, punch the flag ends. Now, have you guys seen the acorn accent? What are they called? Acorn trinkets. They're so adorable, but I will tell you, they're pretty darn heavy. And I worry a little bit about putting them on a card that go that would go through the mail. Um, I, I'm not sure how it would do, but it's perfect for a project like this, a 3D project. So I am going to take my linen thread, if I can get it through, and I'm just going to go under my bow like this, and I'm going to tie it to the bow. Okay, it has a little, a little, um, you know, a little loop in there for you to thread. Um, I, I may have told you guys, or no, maybe I was telling my team, I ordered these for my team members um, who had a certain level of sales and they came and they were so heavy, <laughs> little boxes so heavy. I thought, well, it's probably gonna cost more to mail those, the whole, the whole package of them, <laughs> than it cost me to buy them. But they're worth it, they're cute. And there you go, what do you guys think? That acorn is so stinking cute. I used that acorn twice in my, um, my uh, stitched my, hello, what's it called? Love of Leaves class. I've been working on that today, getting that ready. All right, so what do you guys think? Cute, right? Doesn't look like a, um, what is $2 divided by eight? Mm, 25 cents-ish. Well, it's two nineteen. so what, like 27 cents? It doesn't look like a treat that costs you 27 cents. It's fancy. It's cute. It's kind of sophisticated, I think. Okay, project number one is done. Let's move on now to more specific Halloween things. Um, I know some of you don't do Halloween, um, so I wanted to make sure that I had a treat that wasn't Halloween. And that could also go anytime in November, right? Um, we still um, do pumpkins in November with Thanksgiving. Okay, this one, you guys, I'm so excited about this one. I found at Target pumpkin spice hot cocoa. Um, hello. I told you guys I love finding pumpkin spice things. Um, and so it's just like an envelope of, um, you know, hot chocolate. I linked it on my blog today. So if you want to find it on Target.com, it's there. Um, and hold on. I better show you the project first, right? Let's see. I'll show you this one. And look a test tube of mini marshmallows. Hello, so fun. Doesn't that just kind of elevate that project when you add a little test tube of mini marshmallows? Now the test tubes, you guys, a couple of years ago, remember the boozy hot chocolate treat that I did? By the way, that's coming back in two weeks. You'll see it again. I've done an updated version for um, somebody who emailed me asking me to change it up a little bit. So you'll see it in a couple weeks. However, these test tubes back then, um, we got test tubes in a paper pumpkin kit one time and they were awesome. And I had been buying test tubes for a long time from like a science company. Um, and I had linked to that and it was confusing. They weren't the right size. Blah, blah, blah. It was hard. And that link doesn't even work anymore. So of course, Amazon has test tubes. Duh. Now Amazon has everything. So here are the test tubes. These are 20 milliliter test tubes. I have linked them on my blog too. Um, that's the perfect size. It's, what would you say, five inches, four inches long. Well, I had my ruler here. Um, and they're, they're pretty relatively inexpensive, about four and a quarter. So if you want to make this, you'll find those test tubes um, there on Amazon. And I hopefully have enough for all of my Facebook Friday make and takes too. Okay, so the mini marshmallows are these. I get these at Target, and they probably just have these in the grocery store, okay? So mini marshmallows, put them in there. Now, it's COVID, so I don't know how people will feel about that. No, Denise, they're plastic. They are plastic. So, you know, use your best judgment. You know, maybe I think if I was to receive this, even if I didn't use that because of germs, <laughs> it's still cute. But you, this is sealed, right? So that's okay. Um, but anyhow, that was one thing um, that I was asked about the boozy hot chocolate. You know, how could we adapt that so that it's a little more 
germ friendly or germ safe, COVID safe. So you'll see that in a couple weeks. So anyhow, Target, Target, Amazon. Links are there on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com under this project, okay? All right, let's make it. It's so fun. Let me, I'm, you guys using three stamp sets here. Ghoulish goodies for the sentiment on the inside, flight of fancy for that witch, and you know, my old favorite, the Buffalo check background suit. Okay, let me get all of this over here. We're gonna color with blends. And we're gonna use a stamp of lettuce. But let's make the holder first. It's relatively easy. All right, so this is Cajun Craze. I've been using Cajun Craze quite a bit for all of my Cajun Craze friends who don't like Cajun Craze. I like it, you gotta use it in the fall. Five and a half by 10 and a fourth. So it'll take a full sheet of cardstock. Unfortunately, you can't get two of these out of one sheet, but that's okay. Um, all right, we're gonna score the long side at four and a fourth, four and seven eighths, and five and a half. Now you're gonna notice that this side is bigger than this side, and it actually confused me this morning, but then I realized, no, no, that's right, and I'll show you why. Now, you're gonna fold this in half, right? We're gonna do a little snip and a snip. You can either mark it here on your um, trimmer at two and a fourth and three and a fourth. Mark it on your Simply Scored, I mean, or grab your trimmer and slide it in, slide it in, and this time you'll have it at I have on here four and a fourth and three and a fourth. I don't think that's right. Three, it needs to be two and a fourth and three and a fourth. And you can just cut it to that score line, okay? And I cannot see over. So did I go far enough? Yes. All right, so two and a fourth and then slide that over to three and a fourth and cut, okay? So basically, you could also just do it with your scissors. <laughs> <laughs> you could. It doesn't matter. Um, okay, so see what I've done there? And you're going to fold this guy out, okay, like that. Fold these guys in, and this goes that way, okay? Now, look, see how it seems like it's not right? It's right because we're going to take adhesive right here. Where's my adhesive? Did I? Here it is. We're going to. Adhe we're gonna adhere this flat. Then it will make those two the same. See that, all right? That's why that other side is bigger. And then this just slides in here. And I will tell you, it's a pretty good fit. However, just to be safe, why is my adhesive all the way at the back? Just to be safe, I like to take a little glue dot and put it underneath, just right there. Okay, and now it's really not going anywhere. Okay, now, hey, you guys, by the way, this is pumpkin spice. You know, you could do this for Christmas, right? That that witch set that we're gonna use in a minute has, doesn't it have a, a Christmas? It, um, yeah, it has a little a little angel, like a flying over Bethlehem, you could use that. You could turn it into a Christmas hot chocolate. You could use it for any season. And what's the other one? Oh, and Valentine's Day. It has a Valentine's Day witch. Is she a witch or an angel? She's, oh no, she's a Cupid. <laughs> of course. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Stamparatus from a background stamp because it just makes stamping a background stamp so much easier. Let me put this under here. I'm gonna stamp it in Early Espresso. And make sure my magnets aren't in the way. <laughs> Maria, she says, I love pumpkin spice everything. Me too. The, the best pumpkin spice thing I found this year was the pumpkin spice trail mix that Target had. It's the Archer Farms brand, and we took it when we went hiking in Colorado, and it was so good. They didn't have it the last time it went. It was all gone. So when you use your Stamparatus, you can ink it again to make it more solid. Um, and to, you know, sometimes when you do a background stamp, you miss a spot. But if you use a Stamparatus, no problem. It's 
still, the paper is still right where it needs to be so you can ink it and stamp it again. Now my trimmer was right here. We're gonna cut this down and it's still kind of wet. Um, we're gonna we're gonna cut it down to three and three fourths by five. Okay, so let's make it five and three and three fourths. Right there. There we go. Me too, Sherry. I love fall. I love fall colors. I love it all. We don't really get much in as far as fall colors down here in South Texas, but maybe that's why I just love them so much because we don't get them. Okay, so we're going to put this, we're going to layer this up. Let me get all my pieces. I am going to adhere this to a five and a fourth by four inch piece of pumpkin pie. So the front of this is the size of a card, but because of the, because of the test tube, obviously it's a little bit bigger. All right, so lay that down. Now I have cut a whisper white stitched rectangle and it's exactly the width of that paper, maybe a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna stamp our witch on there, but you're gonna see she's a little bit too big for this rectangle, which is okay because we're gonna stamp her again and cut out her little hat in the moon. So I'm gonna put her just like that. Okay, see how she's off the rectangle? No problem. I've got a scrap of paper right here and we'll stamp that right there. Okay, now Stampin' Blends, I'm gonna use pumpkin, pumpkin pie for her little dress on this one. Um, I stamped her in Memento Black, which is a watercolor. No, every time I try to explain this, I butcher it. Let's try again. I stamped her in Memento Black, which is a water-based ink. You want to use a water-based ink when you are coloring with Stampin' Blends because they are alcohol-based. You have to use the opposite, otherwise it will be muddled. If you use an alcohol ink with alcohol markers, it just um, kind of smears and looks muddy. And if you were to do the opposite, use a watercolor, no, a water-based ink with a water-based marker, then things would run. So like when you watercolor, for example. Okay, now, nope, I want to use Smoky Slate on the little mouse. He's there for a ride. He likes pumpkin spice too, I guess. All the dogs are in here. What are you guys doing? Hey, Mac. He's looking for crumbs. He is looking for crumbs. He knows there's always crumbs around here. All right, soft suede for the room. We're going to use Petal Pink for her cute little face and her little tiny hands. You can use whatever skin tone you want, but I'm just going to go simple with that. All right, now over here on the scrap, thanks Ellen, I'm going to use Basic Black Light. Doesn't that sound like an oxymoron? Light Basic Black. And when you color with it, you're really gonna think it's an oxymoron because it is dark, dark, dark. Our basic black blends are very, very dark. But for something like this, you want, you want that. It works perfectly. Um, if you're coloring something like that mouse, if I was to color him with a basic black, you, wouldn't, you would lose all the details. Ellie, are you leaving? Yeah. Oh, okay, good luck, honey, I love you. Thank you, love you. Bye, hey, were your clothes okay? Yeah, it was fine. Okay, Thank all right, you. love you, baby. Another tennis match today. All right, and I'm gonna do the moon in Mango Melody. Okay, now, for my fussy cutting friends, those of you that don't like fussy cutting, don't worry, it's easy. That little pom-pom on the top of her hat, no way, we're not cutting that out, we're just cutting it off. All right. 
There we go, we've cut that hat out. And the little moon, a little, the moon is a little bit trickier, but you can do it. Little tiny scissors, stay right on the outside of that line. And like that. Okay, I have moved my recycle bin. It is not under my desk anymore and I keep throwing paper under my desk and it's not there. Ugh, I may have to move it back. I was trying to make more room on that shelf down there, but. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that hat and put it right there. Okay, so see, look how it's hanging off. I'm gonna put that moon on in just a second, but I've gotta put this on here first. Okay, dimensionals. Actually, let's use my foam adhesive sheet. Let's cut a strip. I love this stuff. Did I make it too long? I did. All right, cut it. We'll save that for another time. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna put that there. Now for the moon, I'm gonna have to be really precise with my glue dot because there's just a little bit of sliver of that moon left. I think I'm gonna fold that glue dot in half, put that right there. If you are good with your liquid glue, just use your liquid glue right there. Or stamp her a little bit lower so you have more of a moon on there. There we go. So cute, so, so cute. Okay, but wait, we're not done. We have a Whisper White piece. We gotta stamp that sentiment from Ghoulish Goodies in Pumpkin Pie. Thanks, Kathy. Right there. It's not a trick, it's just a treat. Don't you love that saying? Cute, okay. Inside, now I could have gotten real fancy and made a pocket here, but you guys, it's all about simplicity. Just add a little bit of adhesive. I probably shouldn't use a stamp and seal plus. I probably should just use stamp and seal because then they can just pop it off. Glue dots, you know, let's keep it simple. All right, but last, we can't keep it too simple. We have to add a bow. I'm bringing back the black glitter ribbon. This is so good for Halloween. So, so good. And snip, snip. And I, I couldn't decide, where did I want this? Did I want it down here? Did it? Nope, I want it on the test tube. You could do it there too, but no, I still think that's the cutest. Look at that. Ta-da! What do you guys think? Fun, another cheap gift. You guys, I'm saving you money by getting these really inexpensive treats. Pumpkin spice hot cocoa. Look, I have three. I have got to start sending these to school. My bo box of treats are piling up. All right, there you go. What do you guys think? Easy peasy, right? Um, remember, you can do this for any holiday, any holiday. Okay, now one project left. I've got a card for my card makers. And I ask this every year of you guys, who makes Halloween cards? And, and I'll tell you, I do not make Halloween cards um, for specifically for Halloween, like to send out for Halloween. But I do hear from a lot of you, especially those of you that are grandmothers, you like to send your grandkids Halloween cards. I think that's so cute. And you know what I was thinking about when I made this? Does McDonald's, you remember McDonald's when I was a kid and when my kids were little, they you could buy little coupons, right, for, for McDonald's, for like an ice cream cone. Do they still do that? Because I thought that would be cute if you made a Halloween card and then you put that in there, made a little, like a little pocket and stuck that in there. Wouldn't that be cute? Um, <laughs> mom. Hi, mom. Um, it, she's, make, she's teasing me. Okay. Um, however... Because I don't send Halloween cards specifically for Halloween, I do use my Halloween cards as thank you cards during October. You can also use them as um, birthday cards, you know, whatever, um, because it's October. So that's why I think you can make a Halloween card, even if you don't send Halloween specifically cards. Um, Laurie says you can get Wendy's Frosties coupons. Those are great. Yes, I, lo ooh, I love a Wendy's Frosty. All right, let's make this card. 
Um, you got those last year, Lisa, for your grandson, so McDonald's still sells. Oh, good, Catherine. McDonald's sells a pack of coupons. Yeah, I remember those. I remember those were a big deal when I was a kid. All right, a Whisper White card base, Whisper White thick card base. I'm using two different designer series paper, both of which are on sale. Don't forget our designer series paper is on sale um, through the end of the month. And that paper that I used on that first project, the uh, In Good Taste, that's a big pack of paper and it's pricey. It's also on sale. I did not think it was, but when I was um, making my PDF last night, I realized it was on sale. So this is a good time to get it. All right, so this is the paper that has a weird name. I have to look at it. Hallows, no, Magic in This Night. <laughs> I don't know, it's so weird. Magic in This Night designer series paper. I, I cannot, I cannot remember that name. Um, I want to just call it Spooky Halloween Designer Series Paper. Um, Kathy, that's a great idea to give those coupons to your students. When I was teaching, they had made a rule about halfway through my time in teaching that we couldn't give out candy or snacks or food or anything. So that's a great idea to give them a little coupon. Um, and now with COVID, even better, right? Because then it's just paper. All right, so I've put that on a basic black mat. I've got this paper, which I'm gonna put on a dimensional as well. Um, this is from the Plaid Tidings, my very favorite paper that we've used almost every week. It's got a plaid for every occasion, the black and white. And if you're on my team, you will recognize this card. We I've been posting um, sketch challenges for them on Thursdays, and this was last week's. And I loved this sketch challenge. It's from Freshly Made, right? Freshlymadesketches.com. And we all were using it. It's a great card layout. Um, I've used it actually three times now. When I find a, a sketch that I like, a layout of a card, I use it over and over and over and over again. Okay, so now the sentiment is from, I didn't even tell you guys, the sentiment is from Hallow's Night Magic. That goes with that paper that with the weird name. So I'm just using the scripty Happy Halloween. And then the pumpkin, the cute little jack-o'-lantern is from Everything Essential, which is another good stamp set for all the seasons. I was going to do my whole Facebook Friday using the stamp set, but I don't know, I went rogue. I went rogue and used all kinds of things. All right, so we're gonna stamp Happy Halloween on a piece of Whisper White that is three-fourths of an inch by four and a fourth. And I have cut two basic black stitched scallop borders using the Be Mine stitched heart dies. I use those almost every day, my favorites. I did two of them and I'm gonna adhere them behind my Happy Halloween like that. And then I'm gonna get my adhesive sheet again, cut a long strip for that. <laughs> Maria, you're glad I went rogue. You know, the reason why I try to stick to one stamp set is to, sh well, two reasons, to showcase many ways to use it. But also, if you're gonna get the make and takes, you know, I, I don't want you to have to have like 20,000 different stamp sets to, to make it. So that's why I always try to, to simplify and stick with one stamp set. Okay, so now let's make those cute pumpkins. I'm gonna stamp him three times on Whisper White. One, two, three. And we're gonna color him three different ways. Grab my stamp and blend over here. I'm going to start with pumpkin pie, and I'm going to give him a light just coat of pumpkin pie. And I'm going to just go kind of crazy. I'm not going to worry about staying in those lines too much because we're going to cut him out. Fussy cutting again. If you don't like the fussy cut, you need to get on board because there's so many cute images that need to be cut out. And I meant to leave that white down there. Darn it, I was talking. All right, now I'm gonna take that dark and go around the edges and around the bottom like that. I'm also gonna outline that line and that line. And then I'm gonna color all that in again with my light. The reason why I wanted to leave that light there in the middle is so that it is the lightest. It's darkest on the edges and light in the middle. 
Okay, and I did a, a bang up job there of coloring. All right, I'll do better on the next one. The next one's gonna be Cajun Craze. All right, I'll slow down. Cajun Craze. And I'm gonna do light. I'll use my brush tip in this time. My brush tip on my pumpkin pie is messed up. Um, I actually need to get a new marker because I've almost worn it completely out. All right, so see how I left that white down the, the middle? Now I'm gonna take my dark, go down that line and that line, and I'm gonna take the dark all the way to the edge. Like that and down on the bottom. And I'm gonna outline the line like that. Okay, now I'll go back to the light and blend it all in. And I'm gonna leave that center to the very end so that it's the lightest. All right, one more. And let's do Mango Melody. Mango is yellow but it's a orange yellow. All right. All right, so we'll start with the light. So I wanna know, are you guys, is your town where you live, are you trick-or-treating? We are definitely trick-or-treating. Trick I don't know, I don't know what it's gonna be like, I don't know, but we are doing it. Our, uh, I told you guys a couple weeks ago, even our mayor said on his nightly COVID reports, he said, nobody can cancel Halloween. Just be safe, you know, wear a mask, social distance, blah, 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 all that. So I'm excited. At least we'll have one thing that's relatively normal. And my, my littlest one yesterday, she said, I have to wear a mask when I trick or treat? <laughs> yes, dear. You should be used to it by now. She's, I call her my littlest one. She'll be 12 next week. Next week, week after next. Okay, so Christine, she says, I don't like to fussy cut, but I will grudgingly do it. You know, I think we all prefer a dye, but sometimes I'll tell you, especially when I am mass producing something, a dye takes longer. You know, if I have to die cut 50 of these, it would take a long time. And I think I could probably cut them faster than I could die cut them. Now I'm, I am not even bothering with that stem. I mean, no way am I gonna deal with that craziness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my own stem. That would be difficult to fussy cut. All right, let's go all the way around the edge. Bonnie, she, she says, I like fussy cutting. You know what, Bonnie, I do too. I do enjoy fussy cutting, um, just sitting and kind of a mindless activity. It's something you can do while you're, you know, watching TV. I do like fussy cutting too. Okay, we've got our three little guys here. I'm gonna turn them over. I've got a scrap of um, glitter. What am I trying to say? Black glimmer paper and I'm just going to cut three little just three little you know strips tiny little boom 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 and then I'm going to get a glue dot on each one and I'm going to glue it on the back like that pepper what are you doing she's learning from her big brother she's in here now looking for crumbs She's learned what that the trash is something she wants to investigate. Okay, now, hello. She's licking my leg. Hello, do you think I'm talking to you? Yeah, I know. You want me to pick you up. Okay, now I'm going to cut these at an angle. <laughs> no pepper. Now she's really, like, trying to climb up my leg. There we go. All right, so we've made our own little, our own little stem. Now, these... I'm gonna adhere flat like that. It is a cute jack-o'-lantern, isn't it? So, so cute. So cute. So those are flat. And then I'm gonna, did I use that? I guess I did. I used that dimensional that I cut off a minute ago. I'll grab another one. And we'll put this one popped up there in the middle like that. 
How cute. He needs to be a little bit higher like that. Now, last but not least, where's my linen thread? We're gonna add a linen thread bow. I used it earlier. Did I leave it on that tray? Hmm. Hold please. Yep, I did. Here it is. Oh, and I have one more project I need to show you guys that I'm gonna post on Monday. One more Halloween project on Monday. I can't let Halloween go. I just love it. All right, boop, boop, and the glue dots. Uh, it's still not windy here. I want that cold weather. Send it down, Susan, I need it. I need that West Texas cold weather. All right, there we go. So cute. Now, if you wanted to do, um, let me grab a little scrap of paper. If you wanted to do like what we talked about, um, you know, if you go buy a little coupon, for maybe a Wendy's, Frosty, or McDonald's, whatever McDonald's coupons are. Just take a piece of paper like this, and we'll put Tombow, if I have my, oh, my Tombow's gone. Hmm. Oh well. Anyhow, put glue, do, 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 three sides like that, and just put it right there. So then you have just a real simple pocket, and you can put it in there, and there you have it. So cute. Now we've got a week. Halloween is a week from tomorrow. So you can get these in the mail and they will get there. Probably. <laughs> They'll probably get there in time. Cross your fingers. Say a little prayer when you mail it. All right, you guys. So we made a Halloween card. We made, um, oh, Sandy, you're in Austin. The cold is there. It's blown through. It was supposed to start blowing through earlier and it hasn't. So if she's, Austin is about an hour and a half north of us. So yay. Um, okay, pumpkin spice hot cocoa and a little Debbie pumpkin treat pouch. Now, if you would like these three make and takes for free, make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight using this host code and I will send them to you in the mail for free. If you forget the host code, because remember, you know what, I, I'm gonna show you guys. I have my iPad, I'm gonna show you. Um, let's see, the host code is now, I feel like it is, this is a brand new iPad, by the way, and it's not gonna even know where I'm going. Um, the host code is hidden now, it's hard to see. So when you go to your shopping cart and you go to pay, look right here, host code. You, I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna see it. So you push that plus button and that's where you put the host code. Do, do, do. You can copy and paste or just type it in, okay? So, one more time, let me show you. How do I get that down? Go down, there. So here's your shopping cart. You know, I clicked on the little bag, shopping cart. It'll have all your stuff listed and then you have to push the little plus sign for host code. Coupon code is for when we have those um, coupons like in, um, August that you can redeem. There's no coupons right now, so don't worry about that, but there's host code right there. If you put your order in and you forget to do the host code, which I've done it, I put in my own orders, I forget the host code, um, just email me and let me know. Um, but remember, I cut these on Tuesday morning, so to be included in my count, you have to let me know that you forgot the host code by Monday at midnight, okay? Or Tuesday by before I wake up. That way I will know how many to cut. If your order is over $50, I mean over $150, don't use the host code. You'll get free stamp and rewards. I'll still send you the free make and takes, okay? Um, now, I've got one more project to show you. I've got another Halloween card, and it'll be on my blog on Monday using the stitched rectangles. I don't know if Gloria is on here. My downline Gloria, she posted a card a while back um, with candy corn on it with a big candy corn and I have had that little idea tucked away in my mind I couldn't wait to do it so this is just those stitched triangles in daffodil delight pumpkin pie whisper white and that same sentiment we use today so you'll find that on Monday all right you guys I hope you have a great weekend stay safe um oh Kelly in Colorado I am praying for you guys over there in Colorado I am devastated by what's happening in your state it's so sad I'm so sorry um, I am praying for you guys. Okay, I will see you guys next Friday with Christmas. Get your Christmas ready, okay? We'll be doing Christmas probably for the next two months. Have a great weekend, you guys. Stay safe. Bye-bye.